Halloween, a time when we all watch gory anime, stuff our faces with sweets, and take the opportunity to cosplay in public. Though some lucky brave souls just do it all the time, like the heroine of this next old school anime. Digi Carrot is a 1999 series with 16 episodes, each a few minutes long, about the mascot of the real life gamers store. Princess Digi Carrot of Planet Digi Carrot, which is probably a Dragon Ball Z reference, is a selfish alien princess who puts on a pinafore and catgirl accessories and comes to Earth because she wants to be an idol or actress in the 90s translations because they didn't expect Western fans to know what an idol was. Ah, how times have changed. The title character, who goes by Dejiko, doesn't actually make any headway towards being an idol, though. All she does is work at gamers because it's that or being homeless. There's not really much product placement in here aside from the store itself, though. The show mostly just focuses on the dumb antics of its characters. Dejiko is immature, catty, no pun intended, and solves most of her problems by blowing them up. Her sidekicks are a blob called Gemma, who constantly suffers because he's got an ounce of common sense, and Puchiko, an earnest and adorable little girl who bears a disturbing resemblance to Lord Prosciutto. And Dejiko's rival is a regular schoolgirl named Usata Hikaru, who dresses up as her idol alter ego, Rabion Rose, with tilds as soon as she steps into Akihabara. The humor is pretty simple. Each of the girls has a defining personality trait, they clash with each other all the time, the neighborhood dudes get swept up in it, and weird punchlines in one episode can stick around for the rest of the show. Nothing makes sense, but it's not supposed to, and considering how short it is, it's a good quick distraction if you want to turn your brain off for a while. It's not the most intelligent anime ever, but it's oddly charming, even if some bits are dated. For downsides, the jokes sometimes get stale, the animation is cheap, and it gets gross when they play Rabi on Rose for fan service, and you remember she's supposed to be 14. But my biggest problem aside from those is the official release. Now none of you need reminding that piracy is bad, so I'm not going to get into that, but the video quality on the current DVDs is barely cleaned up, if that. And speaking of DVDs, the series is prone to packaging mishaps. It wasn't too bad when the official art they used for a previous DVD release was actually for the manga, but the current print as part of Sentai Filmworks' Sentai Selects collection devotes half the box blurb to stuff that happens on the specials, when that set only has the TV series and not the specials. It's like they asked someone in the office, hey, who remembers what happens in Digi Carrot, and just typed up what they could think of. Digi Carrot was a tremendous success, and Digi Co remains the mascot of Broccoli and Gamers to this day. In fact, besides Galaxy Angel, Digi Carrot is pretty much the only thing Broccoli is known for. It's got tons of spin-offs, including manga, TV specials, a movie, radio dramas, multiple OVAs, and two other series. Most of them don't even take place in the same universe, and they all get pretty weird. I might end up covering some of them later, at least the older ones. Overall, the series is hit or miss, and Sentai keeps dropping the ball on English re-releases, but if you're pinching 90s comedy, you could do worse. This is Secret Identity Studio, and if no one comes to my house this Halloween, I'm eating all this candy myself.